What's going on, Sheepdogs? Thresh here, 221B Tactical. Today, we are going over one of the most commonly asked questions about the Max Drive vest for body armor ventilation. That is, how tight should the vest be worn? Well, it's no different than how you should wear your body armor vest as suggested by the body armor manufacturers. You could ask any of them. They're gonna tell you the same thing. Your body armor should be put on snug, but not tight. Same goes for the Max Drive vest for body armor ventilation. We advise you don't strap it on super tight. You just need to put it on loosely so you can get a few fingers under there and you still have a little bit of movement. Just like with anything where you have an air seal, you don't want to constrict your body and you don't want to restrict airflow. So first step, you put it on lightly. Now, of course, if you couple it with the Max Drive micro mesh silver elite shirt which allows air and moisture to pass through more readily than other moisture wicking shirts or compression shirts you're going to have the added benefit of that airflow and that moisture release and heat release and comfort but even if you're wearing a traditional white cotton t-shirt you're still going to get the same benefits now this goes for whether you're wearing uh concealed body armor beneath a uniform shirt or what many of you are wearing now, which is external body armor. A lot of more agencies are going toward that external carrier body armor configuration. So uh, for today's video, I'm gonna use an external vest, but know that the same holds true if you wear concealed body armor. The agency I worked at for 13 years as a full-time officer, we wore concealed armor underneath our uniform shirt, and that's how I developed the Max Drive vest with that system. So once you have the vest on and it's, little loose lightly loose lightly snug you know kind of in between no grunt forces on there now you're going to take your body armor now you put your body armor over and you rest it over the max drive vest and of course the max drive vest gives you 360 degree ventilation and cooling front back shoulders everywhere your body armor rests you have that ventilation airflow and that separation now when it comes to securing your body armor over your max drive vest same thing not too tight just a little snug just so you can have that little bit of closure and that's it i see a lot of guys taking this velcro for their body armor and they're like taking it and they're wrenching it over wrenching it over and they want to get that vest so it's not moving an inch and that as per the body armor manufacturers is not how you want to wear your body armor vest and if you want to get airflow and maximize the efficacy of the max drive vest for body armor ventilation you don't want to tighten down so tight where you're blocking off air from flowing in you want to give just a little bit of a gap it's just like a window that has like a, 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 a drafty window that just has a little bit of a seam just that little bit of a seam you could put your hand there in the winter time and you could feel that cold air rushing in it's the same principle just a little bit so not too tight just bring it over and secure it nicely and that is it you will have that layer of air and that little bit of separation that goes all the way underneath the shoulders down the front of the chest down the back everywhere you want and need that ventilation you will have it the air can go in that heat can escape through all the ports now with concealed body armor for those of you who are still wearing concealed body armor when you put your uniform shirt on over your body armor you still have the airflow that goes in through your sleeves through your neck out the back of the uh, collar you're still going to have that when you have an external uh, carrier like this you have the added benefit of air being able to go in from underneath so one of the added benefits of the external carrier that a lot of agencies are going with now when you have this setup and it's your full-time setup you have the option of the shoulder straps on the max drive vest i'm going to show you that in a second to actually connect it to your body armor vest so when you take your body armor off it actually is connected and will come off as one piece just like this and it will almost be as if the max drive vest now is part of your body armor and it stays as part of it what's beautiful about this is it does not allow the sweat to soak into your body armor panel so no sweat soaking into your body armor you have the max drive vest that doesn't allow the sweat to go through doesn't hold moisture so you're not going to have to sit there and take your body armor vest apart it's getting soaked in sweat and white salt stains and all that stuff and you got to launder it take your panels out your velcro starts going bad from being in the washer and dryer none of that 
So you can just take these shoulder straps right here on the Max Drive vest, open them up. and close them right over the shoulder straps of your body armor. Whether you have an outer carrier or concealed armor, works just the same. So that hopefully answers your question about how to secure your Max Drive vest uh, on your body and how it should be worn beneath your body armor. In this extreme heat, there's high humidity areas in the country, a lot of areas of the country going through a heat wave right now. So we want to make sure that you're getting the maximum benefit of your Max Drive vest. You're getting that full airflow, that full heat and moisture release so you can stay cooler, drier, more comfortable, and more focused. I mean, your safety is the most important thing when it comes to being on the job. The body armor is important. The weapon you carry is important. Your training is important. But at the end of the day, all of that, all of that is part and parcel to your overall safety. You got to get home safe at the end of your shift. You being comfortable and more focused on the job and the threats in front of you and not worrying about how hot and miserable and stinky and smelly and itchy and rash. You don't want to have to worry about all that stuff. Focus on the job, focus on the threats, the bad guys in front of you so you can get home safe to your family and loved ones. If you have any other questions, we invite you to email us. Email our sales team 24 seven, day or night at sales at 221btactical.com. They're there for you 24 seven, answer all your questions about agency bulk purchases. We're getting a ton of agencies ordering these for their entire department, adding them to their uniform allowance. That's a, an incredible thing when agencies are starting to now actually purchase these. We've been we've had that for probably uh, two, three years now where agencies are just purchasing this for all their officers. So it's a great thing. Visit our, visit our website. 221btactical.com. Once again, shop from the comfort of your phone 24-7 and know that we are there for you 24-7 to get you the gear to keep you safer and get you home alive. Thanks for watching. Remember, always watch their hands, watch your six, and get home safe. We'll see you next time.